Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, guess what time of the year it is? Guess what's finally happened? It is the 20th anniversary, birthday, if you will, of the original Xbox. And that is something that is near and dear to old Mikeyson's heart. Let me show you something. This is gonna try, I'm gonna try and make this kind of a quick video, but I wanna pay my respects uh, to the console that really changed uh, the market and the way people look at um, what a home console can do, along with uh, bringing and perfecting uh, really the first person shooter genre over to consoles. So let me start off by showing you this, okay? Now this has seen better days, guys. This box looks horrible and I'm embarrassed to have it still. Now this box was in immaculate condition several years back, but we got a shed uh, in the house that we used to live in. We, we built a shed and, and uh, I put this box out in the shed and well, over time, heat and humidity in good old Tennessee has, um, it, it took its toll on this box really quick. And I've seen it happening. Every time I'd go in the shed, I'd tell myself, I need to get that box inside. I need to take that box in. I never took that box in. Now, here I am looking at a sorry, beat down little version of this amazing box that was so great in its time. You probably can't see all the pictures and things, but got the pictures on there, the games that they were trying to hype up and release, and the specs, and all that good stuff. I can't bring myself to throw it away, even though I should, but uh, yeah, that's my original Xbox box. Now, this here is the original Xbox DVD controller and the RF receiver or whatever that's called. The original came out, got it. This isn't like a year later, six months later, 20 years later. When this came out, I got it. And a matter of fact, I think it came out like a week before the Xbox was released. So I still got this original. Now I don't have the packaging from these things, unfortunately. This here's the memory card, my original memory card that I bought day one that it came out. And it's useless. You can't even fit a whole game on there. Gee, why not use the 10 gigabyte hard drive that's installed in the Xbox? Well, you know what? They kind of made you think you needed the memory card too. And this here is the receiver to the, X, the original Xbox Live headset. This is my original one that I got the day that live was released. I even have uh, something else here. Um, maybe, no. Yeah, I even have my live starter kit that came uh, in the box and everything. So yeah, all that's original. Uh, now let's get on to a few of the little discs and things that I have games. Of course, I got the live startup disc uh, We'll put that there and I have and I was uh, And I used to get the Xbox magazines all the time. So I have a lot of their demo discs Not a lot, but a few of the demo discs some of the very early ones um, And I used to have the magazines as well, but years ago I threw all my magazines away and I literally had I mean, hundreds of magazines from all sorts of uh, the video game, you know, magazines that were putting them out. Not just Xbox, but from all of them. I mean, I had hundreds, stacks and stacks. I loved them. I loved looking at them. They were good fun to look at and stuff. So, and then we got this one here, whatever that. Yeah, got a disc in here. So I got that. And we'll just kind of... Oh, I got a couple more. Uh, these come in different cases, though. Got a little fancy on the cases. And again, I'm trying to make this kind of a quick video. I don't want this to be a 
20 minute video, but we're already at five minutes. So, and those are just like some more demo discs. And um, I don't remember if this came with the Xbox at the time, probably not, I don't remember, but still got this original one of that. Uh, some of these are original, some of these are repurchased, um, but a lot of them are probably originals. Got this here. I know that's a newer purchase. And a couple of them don't have the correct cases for whatever reason. Ghost Recon, Island Thunder, best game. That's the way Ghost Recon should be played. The originals, Ghost Recon and Island Thunder. Those are uh, amazing. I don't like many uh, racing games, but this is one that I really enjoyed, the Rally Sport. Again, another Ghost Recon Island Thunder. Sometimes I buy multiples of them just in case, you know, a uh, disc goes bad or, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So just to have them, sometimes the artwork might be different or something. So, and uh, this is Jet Set Radio Feature. I don't have the artwork in there. And this is Star Wars uh, Battlefront. Oh. Morrowind. Doom 3. I never could play much of this. I was too scared. That game just freaked me out. Lord of the Rings. Uh, Splinter Cell, Chaos Theory, Amazing Games. I was an early adapter on these games from day one. They had me sold. Love them. Great games. Battlefront 2, Splinter Cell, Pandora, Tomorrow. I don't know where my original Splinter Cell is. It might have took off somewhere. Brute Force. This is a good game. It's uh, looked over a lot and uh, really forgotten. But this is a good game. And it was tagged as the Halo killer. Uh, it doesn't kill Halo. But it is a good game in its own merit. And it's four player through the campaigns. It's four player like deathmatch and stuff like that. Cool game. Uh, oh, We'll go on to these here. Of course I got the uh, companion DVD set, the Halo thing that was released. Brute Force exclusive, hint book, Halo movie screenshots, exhibition 2.0 demo disc and more. This original when it came out, I've had that since. And this is uh, also my original PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 2. This is also my original Halo 2 copy and it's kind of boogered on the plastic there for whatever reason but you know all there guys and also much is odyssey good game uh there's my splinter cell there it is back there on the shelf my original Splinter Cell. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, le pista resistance, or however it's said. Here you go. My Halo Combat Evolved original day one release of Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, the game still works. Still got the manual. All that good stuff. I got that that came with it as well. And uh, beautiful game. And it's what has set the standard for console first person shooters. And uh, it really stepped up the game. And it's still very playable today. Even though it's been remastered. And I do have the remastered version on my computer. The Master Chief Collection. Beautifully done. But this is still very playable. Still very good. As a matter of fact. We're going to boot up the old Xbox. We're going to put this in and I'm just going to show you that my original Xbox... Uh-oh. We haven't seen that yet. Let's take a look. Look at there. My day one original Xbox. Beautifully kept. I uh, got the S controller. I did have the Duke controller that came with it. 
but I believe it stopped working. I think the cord got frayed and I eventually threw it away years ago. And I do have some more controllers down here uh, as controllers and that. Um, so yeah. So after however many years now, 20, after 20 years, guys, uh, let's go ahead and boot this bad boy up and, uh, and, uh, enjoy a little bit of nostalgia. Okay. Midnight launch, guys. This is one of the most exciting times in my video game life. Here we go. And what was so amazing about this, the first time you boot this up and hear it and see it, it's so striking, the vivid and beautiful greens against the blacks. And in the background, you can hear little strange like noises and some kind of almost like talking or whispering and like robotic almost kind of electrical, you know, voice or something going on in the background and just different noises and stuff. It was so captivating and beautiful to just watch and I remember booting that up uh, after we got home uh, from the launch and uh, popping this disc in 20 years ago guys 20 years gotta smell it now my Xbox still works 20 years later now I know eventually it's gonna stop working But for right now, it's doing pretty good. Original Halo, CE. Fingers crossed. I don't boot it up very often. And a year ago or so, probably more than a year now, uh, I took out the clock uh, capacitor because it's known to have issues and leak on the motherboard and mess your Xbox up so I took it apart I didn't want to but I went ahead and did it I took it apart and I took that uh, capacitor out you hear that use the remote the original 20 years ago guys I still have all my game saves all my all my custom configurations for multiplayer and all that kind of stuff I still have everything on the hard drive as I had 20 years ago. So, uh, this video is going on almost 20 minutes. So, I just want to give a thanks to Xbox and Bungie or Bungie or <laughs> whatever the developer's name is, Bungie. And uh, I just want to give them a shout out and a thanks for creating some of the best games ever and uh, still to this day we're playing them matter of fact we're getting a new Halo game Halo Infinite next month and uh, I did purchase an Xbox 360 day one uh, I no longer have it um, it broke down like seven different times and I sent it in like seven different times and eventually I got it back and I gave it to my kids and I moved on from Xbox 360 to PS3 and uh, I was first in line for the three no when I was sixth in line for the 360 
I was first in line. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was second, actually. I might have been first. I was first in line for this, I think. See, uh, let me make the video longer here. I uh, got the PlayStation 2 at launch as well. And I got this at launch as well. So one of those day, one of those times, there was a guy in front of me, and so I was second. But when he got up to the counter, his card wouldn't work, and so he couldn't purchase the Xbox or the PlayStation 2. So technically, I was first because I was right after him, and I got the, and I took cash. So especially back then, man, you didn't mess with cards back then. You, you brought cash. So. Uh, whichever it was anyway that happened but definitely first in line for both of them anyway so just a little bit of history and uh and again i haven't bought into the xbox one and i'm not buying in as far as i know into the series uh, new xbox series x or s uh i've just kind of moved on but uh this console here will remain in my possession until it kaputs and even then i'll keep it just for show and tell uh it means a lot to me lots of memories with uh, my boys and my nephews and uh, a couple of friends and uh same thing with the playstation 2 now i did get i sold my playstation 2 a little not too long after i bought this because i thought well how can i support two consoles little do we know we can do that but uh just quickly after i did that i purchased this one uh, at the pawn shop and i uh modded it so i could play uh like burnt games you know sorry but uh like whenever i got into ddr which my pad's right here um because i was burning like copies of uh, all the ddr games and uh so this place is this playstation 2 is probably from launch i wouldn't doubt but uh anyway this is about xbox and uh, just a little another quick little story uh, to add on to that i remember when this was being announced and i seen the magazines kind of talking about it on the store shelves and and all that and i remember looking at it and thinking that's crap i ain't buying that stupid thing screw microsoft screw that they screw them and this and i remember thinking that and then it was almost like instantly uh, it was just a, a, a complete 180, 360, whatever one of those degrees you want to get, throw out there. And uh, it was a must-have. So 20 years, happy birthday, happy anniversary. Thanks, Microsoft, for putting out some amazing games and some amazing memories. And uh, thanks to my kids and my nephews and uh, anyone else that uh, helped to uh, give me those memories. I appreciate it. And uh, anyway, maybe we'll see you in another 20 years. Who knows? So, guys, we'll see you later. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Nah. See ya. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it.